Welcome to Mississippi, 47. A local gang known as the Gators handled the distribution of drugs up and down the Mississippi. The Gators move their merchandise on a tourist riverboat. Our client wants you to shut them down. Your job is to eliminate the six Gator crew members and their boss. The client also wants any documents you find in the boss's safe, which is somewhere on the upper deck. The Gators stay in their private area on the top two decks of the ship. Access to that area is limited. We have no other information. Keep up the good work, 47. Hello everybody, Bloody Meow, Hitman, Blood Money, Mission 8, Death on the Mississippi. And uh, welcome to the South, because we are now in the South States, in, uh, in particular, obviously, Mississippi. And a uh, gorgeous, swampy little um, river escapade we're going on here. And as you can see, I like the, the detail, you can see a trailer with some lights and stuff in the... Uh, I would say Everglades, but it's on Florida. And it's obviously getting very close to evening. It's a gorgeous night. I'm sure the mosquitoes are horrible, but uh, we don't notice that. So, this is actually, I think, possibly the most difficult game uh, level in the, in the game. Uh, it, it, yeah, yes, it, it is, it is, because it you have to kill not one target, but seven. You have to kill seven people. And, uh, it's tough. But, uh, we're gonna get our first disguise right away, and it's actually a, uh, boat guard. And, uh, no one's ever gonna suspect this one, because, uh, it's a perfect place out of sight. And, uh, we're gonna do it even better by dragging this guy over here and make sure he's behind these boxes. There we go. Grab his snub nose. No, we don't want the snub nose because that actually... Let's get out of here. There we go. Into the water it goes. Because uh, we're going to go to a place where we're going to get frisked. So we actually are going to have no weapons in this uh, mission. As you can see, this is definitely the south. You see the Confederate, uh, the Confederate flag on my belt buckle. And uh, if you look at the map here, you'll notice that there is a crap ton of civilians in this mission and lots of targets in proximity and a few spread out across the ship it is a dangerous mission and it is very difficult to achieve silent assassin or even professional i'm not going for silent assassin because i'm not nuts so i'm just going to attempt to do um safely professional mode which is where i don't get too much alerts going on so uh we are in the engineer deck, and there's actually one target that we're interested in here. And, uh, he's actually right now in position for me to. Uh... Take. And, uh, I guess we can consider the gears are actually killing him, but to me that doesn't look too dangerous. But, um, what do I know? What do I know? And, uh, oh well. And I just wanted to also quickly state that, uh, for any echo that you may hear, or any previous Let's Plays that have been current that you hear echo, it is because of my apartment room is where my computer is located, and it's located in, in a room where I have no choice but to have it be um, a little echoey because it's it, it's a big, large room, and I'm very grateful for that. But it's empty at the moment. I'm tending to fill it up with posters and wall ornaments, and we have a little futon bed in the back, which helps, but it's still um, nothing that we can, I can really help. It's, I, I did the best I can, and the echo actually isn't too bad, and you might not have noticed it unless I said so, and I think I found that it's more noticeable with headphones. But, uh, 
enough of that. There's our next target. Giving a little smooch smooch to a another blonde bimbo that's a little bit more dressed. Sorry to break the party there, buddy. Apologize. You go ahead and have your little talk with her, and uh, I'll wait for you to go outside. Now, the reason that this mission is really tough is that you really might notice that this is where you can actually feel like your disguise is being uh, compromised. If you're in close proximity with people and stay there for a while, uh, guards will start to recognize you and start to be suspicious of you, and your attention meter will just start rising up. And this is actually might be the first place where you actually might see this um, one becoming uh, the tension meter turning red, yet I'm still not compromised. Because tension meter is just, red means that you're at the brink of it and anything suspicious like running would break your, uh, your cover. So what we're going to do is just wait for this guy to get done with whatever he's doing in that room. And there he is, here comes our next target. And uh, we'll make sure we get out of the way. Like I said, they get suspicious of you quite quickly. Like, uh, there he goes, and there goes this voluptuous lady. Kind of checking out the uh, things. And what I'm going to do is uh, kind of sneak over here, and down you go. Lovely. So let's quickly get over here, good to go, and uh, do a little uh, action, action jumping. And we are now actually ready to take on the remaining, we got two down, and so we have four left. So, yes, we have four left, and we just got two. So I'm sorry, not seven, but uh, um, six. Just, just plenty enough, and so we have to make sure the coast is clear. This guard just walked in perfectly. Now I'll be able to climb this uh, fencing. I don't know what you call it. Okay, we seem to be safe and good to go. Now, this guard is making his rounds, and uh, this is where it gets difficult. This is where it, it just starts to get tough. Um, but uh, luckily, you should be able to kind of work this around. I want to wait for the one of the Gator gangs to go all the way around and do his duty, um, and not have him be suspicious of me. So what I'm going to do is actually use... no, don't drop down. Oh, don't drop down. There could be a guard down there. Don't drop down. Keep back up before they see you climb back up. There you go. I'll just chill here and kind of wait for him to mosey on over. And uh, wait for him to get in position so we can take on our third hit of the mission. We have already killed two people. All by accident, mind you. One falling into the river down below. The shock itself probably landing into that river probably killed him. If not, some sort of uh, alligator or anaconda will grab his face. But, uh, and the other one fell into the engine room. Kind of maybe broke his neck or, and uh, fell unconscious and got grinded up by gears. Which you can uh, kind of imagine. So yeah, yeah, he's definitely suspicious of me, but that's okay because that actually doesn't really matter because we're gonna be um, clearing out a suspicion pretty quick by making it come true. Unfortunately, he won't be able to tell anybody about it. So it's time to do the dark deed once again, and once again, it's gonna be an accident. So even if the body is found. If it's an accident, it actually doesn't matter, which is uh, kind of makes sense because it's an accident. It's not like they should be looking for a killer, or it should compromise your identity whatsoever. So uh, down you go. And he actually falls into the part where we're going to escape on the boat. So people might see him, but like I said, it doesn't matter. At least it shouldn't matter. And if it doesn't, I really don't care. So this part is annoying because I'm actually going to make a save here. Because this is 
our second disguise at the level, and it's actually quite tough to do this because of the stupid timing that is involved. Let me turn the lights off and quickly get out, and he checks to who to turn the lights off, so I can uh, open the door and carefully kind of get behind him now. But like I said, it's tough, and it might take a few tries. But it looks like a few tries is nothing we need to do. Do you want to go quick, though? Because there is one pesky little uh, VIP patron that comes in here to literally just come in here and investigate the scene. He does nothing else. But unfortunately, or fortunately, we're good to go. So we're going to do one more thing and poison this cake. Because the skipper loves cake, and we're going to provide that with him. But not yet. Because if we provided cake for the skipper, um, we actually would force him to keep demanding the cake. And we don't want that yet. Instead, we are going to go on a massive killing spree up here. And uh, this is why the mission is hard. Because our suspicion meter still does the same trick. People are still extremely suspicious of us, and do not like us. So we kind of have to just kill people one at a time. So first, I gotta get searched. Gonna have to search you, sir. Thanks. You're all set. Thank you, buddy. So, uh, perfect timing for this guy to go to the bathroom because it's gonna be the last bathroom break he ever takes, and that, you might find that's kind of a. Uh, a theme to this game. Buddy, shirtless man, goodbye. Let's turn the lights out. Oh, close the door! Jesus! Turn the lights out so people don't uh, kind of just barge in and look. And we'll hide them like this, so when I open the door, I hopefully don't get caught. But I still want to check my map to make sure no one's passing. And everybody seems to be... The coast seems to be relatively clear. So, excuse me, buddy. I'm going to kind of just chill right here and investigate the scenery of where people are. Okay. So this guy, this is Skipper. Right here. This is the actual uh, guy. He's actually he's actually a uh, peeing, and his first-class peruser is actually watching him pee and giggling. I'm not lying. That is actually what's going on right now. I'm not just saying that. That is actually literally what is taking place. I would show you, but it's very it's uh, kind of would compromise my entire plan. So, uh, whoa, buddy, jeez, watch it. So as soon as this guy leaves his uh, post, he's going to uh, meet the uh, the nice cold grasp of my fiber wire. Uh, well, actually, this peruser needs to get through first, so that'd be a little suspicious. So, like I said, this is actually where you start feeling like a bit of an assassin, because you really got to plan out your thing. I'm completely inconspicuous because, well, I really butchered that, but, um, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just a first-class peruser kind of chilling in the corner of people's eyes here. Now, this guy, as soon as this guy starts to, to leave, I'll kind of just chill right here as he's going to come down inside and that is the position that we don't want him in because he's too tough to grab the scary part about this though is that you kind of have to take him and he's guarding the door and he really doesn't move so killing someone right in front of a door where people enter and leave is extremely dangerous but we're gonna have to, to to act soon sooner than later because this this is uh this is just how it works this is how it's gonna go and uh, hopefully we can do this in a nice... Uh, it's going to be quite a bit of a time. He's moving now. It's time to act. Now. Don't even think twice. Don't even think. Sometimes you just got to do it blindly. So goodbye, buddy. I actually want to pick up the shotgun before uh, grabbing him, because for some reason in this game, if that shotgun's laying down on the ground like that, a guard will come racing um, up here to pick up the shotgun. 
That's it. We'll just pick up the shotgun. And he actually might do it now, and uh, that's going to be a, uh, quite a massive do-over if he comes racing. And that's kind of just going to show that, you know, this game is from a uh, younger time where uh, bugs could be a little more prominent. But uh, what we're doing actually is getting this guy really out of view in a nice little corner where no one's going to suspect anything. We're not going to push him over the rail because he's technically a killed guard, and uh, that could be a body found because he didn't die from an accident. And uh, like I said, I'm going to pick up the shotgun and make sure it's out of the way. And hopefully no one hears this drop. There we go. I think we should be good. Yes. No one's racing. And now we have free reign to kind of take care of this guy. When he comes in. And this is going to be kind of quick. And extremely dangerous, because I don't know where the other uh, guard is. I don't know where the first class peruser is. I better check quick as he moves. Okay, we're just going to have to do this. Oh god, I don't even know how to get this guy. Actually, I could maybe just grab him now. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to poison this guy. And get him out of the way as soon as possible. And don't even think twice. Um, the worst comes the worst is that there's going to be a peruser either coming out of that door or out of this door. And he's going to see slightly suspicious behavior. So let's just pray... To the hitman, lords and laddies, that... Gotcha! Alright, this is our little graveyard. It must have been a massive... Uh, see, there's a broken wine bottle, so obviously something just happened and it was, uh, it was just all bad. So we only have one more person left, and that is the skipper himself. And there, in time, is the peruser that would have blown our cover completely. Luckily, not so. So actually, that was the first use of poison kill that you've seen. As I see, I don't use it much because it's uh, the fiber wire is a lot more uh, just, uh, signature, in my opinion. And it's a lot more entertaining. And uh, it's just the same as sedating, except they uh, go limp at the end. Uh, and die. Instead of just being groaning and, and not dead. So we actually should probably hitting a save would be a very good idea since we are quite close to the actually the end of the mission it is actually the smoothest I've ever done this mission and I'm amazed <laughs> but uh, we have his cake excuse me buddy not suspecting a thing and he's leaving and the perusu the per peruser I think that I think that's I think that's how you say it if it's not that's what I'm calling it um, you could also poison that guy's uh, like burger that he has there sometimes, but, uh, you know, I like just kind of poisoning him. See, you can run up to someone, you can run up to a dead man, because he's not going to say anything. So now that guy's going back to take a shower, he's not going to assume anything, and we have cake for you, buddy. Enjoy! That guy will be showering for a while. Don't you go through that door. And down he goes. Quite a uh, deadly cake. So. We could just leave him in here, but this is not an accident. People could find his dead body. That shower guy would come in here and check his dead body. So we don't want that. But luckily, no one's allowed into this room except for Skipper and his skater gang. Or maybe just Skipper. Close the door, dang it. There we go. And uh, we'll just say that he had a uh, bit too much to uh, eat. And uh, finally, we're going to get the last objective, which is just simply opening this combination shape, which has no combination, and grabbing the uh, blackmailing pictures. And we have successfully killed and eliminated the Gator Gang. No one suspecting anything.
And you know what? That is how you do it. And that is that is the beauty of Hitman, and it really just gives you this feeling of utter empowerment, as I've said. That that has happened, and people do not expect the thing. People are just carrying on with their lives. They're just doing their party. And, uh, let's quickly get in here. Oh, oh, I don't need to be in a sailor outfit. I'll just wear this the whole time and just uh, walk back uh, pleasantly. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll give you a tour of the, of the ship. And hopefully this is, uh, I'm not going to get frisked. But it doesn't matter if I get frisked because I'm safe. So, uh, there you go. As you can see, there's so many different ways. You can, like, talk to the waiter and become a waiter. and But, really, since all the Gator Gang are kind of just outside in the ship, it's almost pointless. But it's a way to infiltrate if you don't want to uh, jump over the railings of the boat, I guess. But yeah, it's gorgeous, and as you can see, it's really, uh, you could really, really, uh, get quite a firefight if you were, uh, sloppy. Now, this is not the first class VIP area, this is the, um, you know, I, th I believe these are just the regular guests that even the suit, your suit is allowed to be in. But it's very quiet, not as pretty, no pianos, music, no open bar, <laughs> But there's still one more part of this mission that uh, kind of eludes me, and uh, I've never done it yet, and it is leaving in your suit. And that may seem like not too big of a deal, but the problem is, is that your exit is actually on the other side of the boat. Not where you started. So I don't know how I got on here, but uh, what I have to do is go through the engine room in my suit, and you're not allowed in there. And not just the engine room, but also, like, the guard crew quarters. And, uh, that's going to be a little tough. But, uh, we're going to see if we can get through without getting seen, and, uh, quickly just make it to the boat in our suit, because I really, really, really have a good feeling that I could possibly get Silent Assassin in this one. So let's go back to our suit, get in position to open up the engineer deck, but this time we're going to go on the upper floor because uh, otherwise we would get spotted as we try to pass the uh, shovelers putting coal into the uh, furnace. So as soon as this guy kind of leaves his post, we're going to go ahead and walk up here and go through the engine room. And this is going to be the final save, and uh, we might see a good bit of do-overs because we're actually lacking do-overs, I think. As soon as that door closes, time to save, time to lockpick. And as you notice, I actually upgraded my lockpick to a 50% uh, faster lockpicking, which is the ultimate lockpick. So it's actually kind of useful. You actually do need to use your money for something. So, uh, let's do it. Now, we just got to be completely careful and uh, just hope that people don't spot us. But, uh, this, I, I really don't know how I'm going to do this correctly. But, uh, I'd say that I should just probably just go ahead and climb down. Oh, someone saw me. Who saw me? Who, who, who saw me? Did anybody see me? Huh. Maybe no one saw me, actually. I just think they did. Oh, you know what saw me? I bet that guard... I bet that guy saw me. Crap moly, I can't go anywhere in here. Something tells me that I got seen and you ran. But I'm not entirely positive. Um... Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! That's him! Yep. I got seen. And that's the jerk who saw me. Gosh freaking dang it. Okay, so, um, let's just try to escape. Um, I, I, uh, my game crashed, and I literally had to do that mission the entire, um, uh, again. Um, in, in, in the entire mission again. <laughs> but, uh, that's okay. So we're back in our suit, and we got seen last time, and I'm just gonna test the waters to see how, how we're gonna be able to do this. Okay, there's the worker right there, who spots us. So I need to see which direction he goes in. We have to get to here, and there's a guard right there, so we still can get caught. 
but uh, this is gonna be intense. We just need to see where this, which way this guy goes, and then I have to try to beat him to the to the pedal here. I could run all I want because he's gonna just hear footsteps. He's not gonna see me. But if he sees me, he's gonna run and see a guard. Now, luckily, that guy's gonna shovel fire for the rest of his life, so we're good. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I I really hope I get this in one mission because I don't want this to quit out again. Okay, which way is he going? Okay, he's going down this way. So let me. Is he gonna turn? Nope. Good to go. Now, are we actually good to go? That's a good question. Let's just go. Oh, you bad. Ugh. Yeah, go run. Oh man. Let's see. What I would have made it if it wasn't for this who's running with me. Ugh. Oh, there's a dead guy. Okay, so it looks like we're safe to kind of just go in here and run, and then just got to kind of have to just pick and choose how we run. Might be able to do this even quicker if I'm, if I'm fast enough, but uh, for right now, we're just going to go this way and, and, and go for it. Now, if I'm good, I might be able to just go past this guy. We're going to try it this way, actually. Oh, boy. <laughs> Truly uh, stealthing around here. Okay, go, go, go. There's the guard. Come on. There's also a waiter and another engineer that can gum. So we gotta be really quiet. There's the dead guy, <laughs> but he's an accident, so no one cares. At least I don't think they do. Come on, come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Escape. Oh my gosh. Ooh, boy. Total kills, five. Because of accidents. Close combat kills, three. Accidents, two. Silent Assassin, baby! I've never gotten a Silent Assassin on Death of the Mississippi. Holy crap, just a, a, a self-achievement there on my own. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm content about that, man. Hear that awesome fanfare? Hell yeah, man. You can you can feel the, you know, the invigorating passions spewing out of my pores. But there you go, guys. Holy crap, that was intense, but that was worth it. Oh, that was exhilarating, man. <sighs> I got a crap ton of money. Silent Assassin kills again. I never, I never read it like that. Now, that's that skipper that I said that we were going to see again in that um, boat ad that I talked about in that one mission. That's who it was. Oh, man. Violent episode to be a, in a violent episode that caused six additional deaths. Some sort of strangulation device was used for the majority of the deaths, possibly five were. Three of the victims, three of the three of the victims were found dead in mysterious circumstances. So, uh, determine if the cause of death was natural or foul play, meaning uh, the accident. So that's really, really good. And once again, you see about Tom Stewart and Frank Morton. But look, Tom Stewart is still up there. That's just something's going on, man. Push Dagger, that sounds awesome. Kinky Cola, hmm, what if that has aphrodisiac in it? Well, anyway, the Louisiana Mail, there you go. School janitor burned to death, ooh. A regular lynching by, as a regular, describe the incident as a regular lynching by local residents. That's actually kind of yucky, ugh. Well, anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next mission. We're gonna, once again, return back to Mississippi. We still aren't finished with the Muldoons. See you guys next time.